Hey Journey Mora, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the one-handed bowline. Make sure you stick around because I'm going to be kind of hanging off the edge of a cliff. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Alright, so I'm going to be demonstrating how to do the one-handed bowline. If you're hiking and somebody falls off a cliff, cliff or slips and they're hanging on, you can have your partner, whoever you're with, for this instance, it's my wife Nikki, if they've got rope, they can toss that to you. So when they toss it, they need to throw it behind you, so it comes behind the back here. Keep holding on, obviously. Reach back around and grab that rope, wherever it is, you're going to pull it around. So you need this rope these two ropes to cross. That's your first thing. You cross it and you come into the hole that you made. Now you wrap it around the main rope that your partner has in their hand, that line, and then you're going to pull it through the hole that your wrist makes. So as soon as you can get that through, and it's going to take a little bit, pull that through, then your partner can pull it and it's going to tighten up there. Now they can pull as you climb. So it pulls some weight off of you so you can get up. This is not meant to hold things and just pull things up. You're going to have to continue to help climb, but this is going to give some edge off your weight so that you can get back up. So if something like this happens where you are hanging off a cliff, you can tie this knot this bowling, one-handed bowling, while still holding on, and it'll help you get back up. So let's climb on up here. Oh. Oh. Okay, so check this out. This is what it's gonna look like when it's tied. That's when you know you've got it right. And as you can see, I'm pulling on it. Easy, perfect. Make sure you like the video for my wife, because she's so pretty and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if it was kind of hard to see how to tie that knot while I was hanging off the cliff there, I'm going to show you again and kind of take you through a little bit slower. That way you can really see and really understand how to do this. So this rope is going to be held by your partner, whoever's helping you, whoever's throwing you that line. So this hand isn't going to be holding this. It's going to be hanging on to that rock. If you're hanging off a cliff, maybe you're hanging on a tree, Maybe you're in a, in a river with a big current and you're hanging on to that. So, you're gonna be hanging on. I'm just gonna hold it taut. This here is gonna cross over. You're gonna come underneath in your opening. Then you're gonna wrap around the part that they're holding. I bring it up and grab with my thumb. So I'll leave my thumb on top. Then I grab it with everything. And then I'm gonna pull it through this loop. You gotta have a little bit of slack in order to get it through the loop. So if this is pulled too tight, you're not gonna be able to pull it through. So pull it through here, and then they're gonna pull, and you're gonna pull here. It's gonna tighten up, and that's your one-handed bowl, and that's what it should look like. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel, because we'd love for you to be a part of the Journey More community. I hope now you've got a great understanding of the one-handed bowling and you can go do it yourself.